So, uh, good afternoon everyone. Let me know if I am audible and if the video is clear to you. All right. So, welcome. I am Surbhi Sardana and I will be taking weekly current affairs for geography, environment, science and technology. Good afternoon and hello everyone. Yes. So, let us begin. Dekhte hain, aaj hum kaun se topics cover karne wale what are the topics that we are covering today? The first is inflatable, inflatable aerodynamic deaccelerator that has been tested by ISRO. ISRO has been tested technology test ki hai recently. So, we will see ki ye technology hai kya and how will this technology help us? We will look into that. The second is dark sky reserve in Ladakh. The third is Changthang Wildlife Sanctuary where this dark sky reserve is being set up. Exercise synergy and cyber attacks, zombie eyes and save the whale shark campaign. So, we have six very short and very good, very interesting topics for today. Let us see how are we approaching. Also, this initiative runs in coordination with our website and this sees the mains daily answer writing initiative. So, if you want to answer writing ki practice karna chahte hai, you can choose to answer this question. The link to this question on our website is available in the description below. You can go to rajayasacademy.com and answer this question which is climate change is real, climate change is here, quote, quote. Discuss the socio-economic impacts of climate change with respect to the diverse geography of India and answer in 250 words. So, the first topic for today is ISRO test systems to recover spent rocket stages and this technology is known as inflatable aerodynamic deaccelerator. So, basically let us break this word, ye inflatable aerodynamic deaccelerator or IAD, what is this? Inflatable is something that can expand, jo ki inflate ho sakta hai. For example, a balloon, if you fill air into a balloon, then it can expand. So, a balloon is inflatable, so inflatable means koi aisi cheez jo expand ho pa rahi hai. Aerodynamic is related to your motion in air. So, air may there is something in the air that is expanding and deaccelerator is something that reduces the speed. Just like you have, if you increase the speed of your car or any of your vehicle, then that means acceleration is increasing. If you decrease the speed and continue to decrease the speed, means that is deacceleration. So, there is something in the air, some technology has been tested by ISRO in the air, which is actually reducing the speed of something. Now, what is this? Let us find out. See, basically, whatever rockets we are launching right now, once they are launched into the space, we cannot recover them. Ek bari agar space mein chala gaya, ek bari agar ek rocket use ho gaya, to uski koi bhi technology hum reuse nahi kar sakte. Rocket technology, your launching rockets, launching satellites, sending missions to other planets, it is very expensive process. So, what if we can reuse the technology that we are already sending to space? We'll save a lot of money, we'll save a lot of resources. For example, this is your rocket that is being sent and it is being sent out of the atmosphere. This is your atmosphere. So, when it has to be sent out of the atmosphere, there are many engines attached to it. Initially, you will have to send a lot of force to the rocket because gravity will overcome karna hai. Initially, you will have to put a lot of force to send that rocket out of atmosphere, atmosphere because gravity is trying to stop it. So, our first stage of a PSLV, let us say, is solid fuel. Solid fuel will burn burn ho jayega. Solid fuel will burn very fast. And that engine, the first stage engine is based on solid fuel. Wo ek dam se burn ho jayega and the lift force would be very high. So, your first stage is solid fuel and once that solid fuel is used, for example, your rocket reaches here, then the first engine will fall down back to earth. It will fall down, it will get damaged in the atmosphere or it will just be lost. Then the second engine comes into play, then third engine, fourth engine and subsequent engines aapne jahan jitni bhi dur rocket bhejna hai. So, ISRO says or space agencies say that if this engine that is coming back which gets destroyed on entering earth's atmosphere because it is coming back with so much speed that it gets burned. 
if this engine can be reused agar hum isko dobara se reuse kar sakte hain isi ko thoda sa isi mein thode se changes karke if we can reuse this part then it will be so financially viable for us our space missions will become economical hame kharcha kam karna padega so that's why this technology has been tested this technology iad which we are talking about right now it basically attaches a parachute on one of the particular stages of rockets ek parachute jaisa attach kar dete hain that parachute inflates in the air itself bahut hi upper atmosphere mein inflation hoti hai and it brings that engine down very slowly without harming it harming it without burning it so this engine can be reused again now this technology it can be used if you want to land something on other planets or land something on moon for example our chandrayaan 2 the you know the subsequent stages that landing part failed because soft landing could not happen just imagine if we have something some efficient technology like this jo ki ek parachute se landing karwa de hamare rover ki if the landing of rover on a planet or on moon can occur slowly then so much cost will be saved and landing can be safe so we can actually go to venus we can actually go to moon we can go to other planets and carry out researches in a very economical and very efficient way so basically jo is technology ka purpose hai the inflatable aerodynamic deaccelerator if you are not from science background the only thing you need to know is that it is there to produce reusable vehicle technologies in indian space missions secondly it helps in इकोनॉमाइजिंग बहुत ही सस्ते हो जाते हैं आपके जो स्पेस मिशन होते हैं एंड ऑल्सो ड्यू टू दी सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग केपेबिलिटीज विद द हेल्प ऑफ आई आई डी अ लॉट ऑफ प्लान विल बिकम इन टू आर इन टू आर रेंज ऑफ रिसर्च सो दिस इज अबाउट इट इफ यू रीड अबाउट द पर्पज द आई आई डी सर्व टू डी एक्सेलरेट एन ऑब्जेक्ट उसकी स्पीड कम कर देंगे प्लंजिंग डाउन थ्रू द एटमोसफेयर वेन इट इज कमिंग डाउन थ्रू द एटमोसफेयर it systematically reduce the velocity of the payload through aerodynamic drag at around 84 km altitude itni zyada height par the iid was inflated using compressed nitrogen so that was how you know uh, inflation occurred not very important from exam point of view but the technology is very important then it descended through atmosphere with the payload part of sounding rocket so it came down it landed safely the other thing that you have to remember here is sounding rocket so if you want to send a mission into space you can have pslv rocket you can have gslv rocket or gslv mark 3 depending upon apne kitna dur aur kitne kis orbit mein bhejna hai where do you want to send your satellite or payload but for carrying out researches अगर आपने सिर्फ रिसर्च कैरी आउट करनी है यू आर नॉट प्लानिंग टू लॉन्च अ सैटेलाइट यू डोंट वांट टू टेस्ट इट थ्रू अ सैटेलाइट बिकॉज सैटेलाइट्स आर आल्सो एक्सपेंसिव सो इन द रिसर्च मोड व्हाट इज यूज साउंडिंग रॉकेट्स आर यूज्ड फॉर रिसर्च सो इफ यू लुक एट द इसरो टेस्ट सिस्टम्स टू रिकवर स्पेंट रॉकेट स्टेजेस एंड इट हैपन थ्रू अ साउंडिंग रॉकेट रोहिणी सीरीज के साउंडिंग रॉकेट है दीज आर यूज ओनली फॉर कैरिंग आउट रिसर्च अबाउट फ्यूचर टेक्नोलॉजीज नाउ दिस रिसर्च हैज बीन कैरिड आउट नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ इसरो वुड बी टू कैरी आउट फर्दर रिसर्च और टू एम्प्लॉय दिस टेक्नोलॉजी इन एक्चुअल पी एस एल वी और जी एस एल वी मिशन सो द साउंडिंग रॉकेट यूज हियर वॉज ऑफ रोहिणी सीरीज रोहिणी थ्री हंड्रेड एम के थ्री एंड वे फ्रॉम वेयर इट वॉज लॉन्च Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station. So the other one is in Sri Hari Kota. This was uh, this is closer to the equator and oceans are surrounded here. So even if failures occur, the rocket actually goes back into water. It does not spoil. It does uh, does not harm people who are staying on land. So that's all that you need to remember from here. Before moving on to the next topic, let me know if there are any doubts. always the answer that we give you is a model answer model answer will definitely cross the word limit because full topic also has to be covered i recommend that you go to seize the mains introductory video on our previous playlist 63 videos are there watch the first video and learn how to write within the specified word limit on the website our aim is to deliver content also so that no fact no data misses out 
so any doubts or uh, uh, let's move forward to the next topic then all right so the next topic is that there is a dark sky reserve that is uh, coming up in lay district of ladakh ladakh union territory mein ek dark sky reserve banaya ja raha hai so what is a dark sky reserve see when you have to see planets and stars आउटसाइड द एटमोसफेयर ऑफ अर्थ अपने दूर दराज के प्लान और स्टार्स को ऑब्जर्व करना होता है देन वी हैव एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल टेलीस्कोप्स वी हैव टेलीस्कोप्स प्लेस डैट डिफरेंट प्लेसेज ऑन अर्थ सो वी यूज दैम टू कैरी आउट आर ऑब्जर्वेशन नाउ दीज टेलीस्कोप दे वर्क ऑन द लाइट दैट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द स्टार्स सो इफ यू आर सिटिंग समवेयर इन लद्दाख इफ यू नो सम स्टार इज सेंडिंग सम लाइट सीरियस इज सेंडिंग सीरियस इज अ स्टार और प्रॉक्सिमा सेंचुरी इट इज सेंडिंग सम लाइट टू यू to you in the telescope then you'll recognize that this light from this direction is coming from this particular star but hota kya hai since these observatories they are placed they are on land only so what happens since as you can see there are a lot of houses here and jab raat hogi when uh, you know uh, night uh, when you know there is night time then a lot of vehicles will also be there they will be you know turning on their headlights these houses will be using electricity they will be turning on their lights also so we call that light pollution whenever light pollution is there that is artificial light is there in the sky that is not a good condition ye jo artificial light in the sky wala jo condition hota that is not a very good condition for astronomical observations so this light pollution is not good that's why astrophysicists ya jo astrophotographers ya astronomers hote hain what they do is they go to higher places higher and isolated places where there are not a lot of human settlements jahan pe zyada log nahi reh rahe to avoid light pollution and they go to very isolated places if you go higher if you go on the top of this hill then the sky will be closer to you okay as compared to if you are in the plain area to aapke telescope ko zyada ज्यादा लाइट खींचनी पड़ेगी ज्यादा दूर का वो नहीं देख पाएगा बट इफ यू कैन गो टू टॉप ऑफ अ माउंटेन देन इट इज अ प्लस सेकेंडली इफ यू गो टू एन आइसोलेटेड प्लेस देन देर विल बी लेसर लाइट पोल्यूशन देयर सो मोस्ट ऑफ द एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल ऑब्जर्वेटरीज मोस्ट ऑफ द एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल टेलीस्कोप दे आर सेट अप इन हिली एरियाज फॉर एग्जाम्पल योर देवस्थल इट इज इन देवस्थल ऑप्टिकल टेलीस्कोप वेर इट इज इट इज इन उत्तराखंड नैनीताल में है एंड इट इज एट अ वेरी ग्रेट हाइट एंड इफ यू हैव एवर विजिटेड इट the surrounding areas of that observatory of that telescope uh, the surrounding areas they are very isolated in fact sirf research vehicles upar jaate hain bahut dur tak raat ko lights bhi nahi jalti hai so that is the ideal environment that these researchers require so there is a dark sky reserve that is coming up in ladakh where is it coming it is coming up inside the changthang wildlife sanctuary so here since this is a wildlife sanctuary protected area hoga human settlements will obviously be lesser so that's why they are developing a dark sky reserve here so that research can be carried out properly why was this hanle area hanle area of le or this wildlife sanctuary chosen uh, for setting up the dark sky reserve the first thing is dry weather it is a cold desert cold desert hai dry weather hai dry weather is there it is a cold desert there will be lesser clouds lesser humidity which is not good for technical instruments lesser clouds means clear skies clouds nahi hai to aap actually if you want to see jupiter you want to see any stars you can see them clearly you can uh, your telescopes can take the light clearly so and also it is far away from human disturbance so that means lesser artificial lightning and lesser light pollution so who designates these areas as dark sky reserves is there any authority jo ki keh deti hai okay this area which india has designated is a dark sky reserve obviously there is some authority there is some organization of this is the first dark sky reserve of india india ka pehla dark sky reserve hai india does not have any other dark sky reserve and it is one of the highest dark sky reserves of the world and it is set up by dsc department of science and technology and designated by international dark sky association which is a non profit association based in united states of america to wo categorize karte hain wo aapko designation dete hain that this area is a dark sky reserve there are many dark sky reserves in india but just as i told you this is none so far exist in india this is the first one of india so what 
वट इज द पर्पज द फर्स्ट पर्पज इज रिसर्च के लिए हेल्प करेगा द सेकेंड पर्पज इज जो एस्ट्रो एस्ट्रो टूरिज्म होता है ऐसे देर आर मेनी enthusiasts who actually go to these areas to observe planets and stars so such tourism will increase and in the coming times this changtang wildlife sanctuary jahan pe ye locate kiya gaya hai where this jack sky reserve has been set up that tourism will also increase people will become more aware of the biodiversity in this area so it will uh, not in the days ahead a visitor center will also be set up to inform people not only about astronomy but also about the wildlife and plant life in the adjoining wildlife sanctuary so look at the location of this sanctuary where it is now ladakh is a separate union territory this area in red is actually the location where this dark sky reserve has been set up and where this wildlife sanctuary is located this wildlife sanctuary is known for the so morini which is the highest lake on earth you can look at the location of so morini here so morini which is the highest lake on earth and it is also known for a village which is considered as the highest placed village on earth so that is the korzok village and the so morini world's highest village and world's highest lake what are the animals that can be found if you know about the span of snow leopard snow leopard is found in the himalayan region we have conservation programs for snow leopard going on snow leopard ka jo habitat hota hai wo idhar jammu kashmir and ladakh se shuru ho jata hai so it starts from here so in changtang wildlife sanctuary if you go there you will definitely find snow leopard and it also extends to parts of himachal pradesh uttarakhand and other northeastern states so from sighting the rare snow leopard what you can see kiang or wild ass along with dark necked crane and a lot of avian uh, species are also there bird species are also there so this was about your dark sky uh, reserve and the changtang wildlife sanctuary the next topic is about cyber security there was a recent exercise that was conducted by cert in jaise military exercises hoti hain military exercises or you know naval exercises what is the purpose of such exercises to improve the coordination between neighboring countries or neighboring militaries so if you are if we are carrying out a military exercise with the asian military or a na naval exercise with the asian people so what is the purpose ki coordination acha ho sake dono dono defense forces mein dono countries ke defense forces mein to improve the coordination between defense forces of both countries so that if some threat arises both the navies or both the armies know how to contact each other what are the weapons available with each other and how we'll be fighting against that threat so on similar lines this exercise synergy if you are appearing for prelims any time soon then this is very important from prelims point of view so exercise synergy was conducted by cert in to enhance cyber security what is cert in let's look at cert in the full form of cert in is computer emergency response team of india basically a lot of cyber security incidents were happening the people did not know whom to go to whether to go to the, to the local police ya consumer uh, consumer courts mein jaye where to go where to where to uh, talk about these incidences so it is an organization of ministry of electronics and information technology and what is its objective to secure india indian cyber space साइबर अटैक से सिक्योर करना है दैट्स वाई दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैज कैरिड आउट एक्सरसाइज एनर्जी इट इज अ नोडल एजेंसी विच डील्स विद साइबर सिक्योरिटी सिक्योरिटी थ्रेट्स लाइक हैकिंग फिशिंग और एनी अदर न्यू टाइप ऑफ साइबर थ्रेट्स दैट एमर्ज विद टाइम सो दिस इज योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिफोर मूविंग ऑन देर आर टू टू टाइप्स ऑफ वेरी कॉमन साइबर थ्रेट्स वन इज रैनसम वेयर द अदर वन इज फिशिंग फिशिंग इज बेसिकली phishing phishing is basically somebody uh, you know carrying out an attack on your system on the basis of your passwords if somebody gets to know your for example banking id password or your uh, uh, very essential very crucial passwords and then they you know carry out transactions in your name so that is phishing ransomware is that yes otp otp is there to secure such transactions abhishek 
ransom where ransom as the name indicates ransom is money demanded for some illegal activity ransom kya hota hai you you must have heard about that a lot in movies ransom is that some money is demanded in exchange of something which is not very positive so ransom where is that somebody gets access to your website to your systems and they block it they block it to such a level that you cannot use it for example just imagine you wake up one day and you cannot log into your laptop or phone and then you receive a call that if you give me such such amount of money or such such amount of bitcoins only then i will let you uh, i'll tell you the new passwords otherwise you will not be able to use it or i'll publish your uh, crucial information so that is ran ransomware that where the person is asking money from you in return because they have access to critical information while in phishing they already have access to your bank accounts probably so they do not need to ask you for money so exercise synergy that is what we were talking about 13 or countries hain there are 13 more countries which have been a part of international counter ransomware initiative resilience working group which have carried out this exercise so this entire pdf will be available to you you do not you do not have to make notes right now just try to understand what is being told so to exchange best practices among member states ek aisa environment create kiya gaya tha such an environment was created that some cyber attack has happened in one of these 14 countries jisme uh, jisme exercise conduct hui so what happens cyber attacks are not just restrained to one country only if a cyber attack is happening in india it will not just stay in the borders of india it will go to international it will cross international boundaries it will spread to other nations also bahut sari nations ke log ek sath suffer karte hain cyber attacks that's why countries have come together to fight cyber threats together ki collectively fight karenge to zyada ache solutions nikal payenge so here they created such an environment where this uh, cyber security was under threat and when they uh, when they created such an environment all the countries shared their best practices that what will you know for example a country in southeast asia do if a cyber attack happens how will it coordinate wo indian government ko kaise inform karenge how will they inform certain and how much time and similarly goes for the certain so it was headed by certain and this is your exercise and also the theme uh, that is very important if you are sitting for state civil services or any exams which are other than upsc civil services exam so this is very important building network resilience to counter ransomware attacks so it was concerned with specifically with ransomware not particularly phishing but particularly ransomware so this theme is very important you have to remember this before moving on to the environment part we'll be discussing zombie eyes now so uh, before moving on just let me know if there are any doubts parvez highest lake means sabse zyada height par located hai sabse unchi jagah par lake hai ek if you you know if you start measuring height from sea level sea level ko zero mana jata hai altitude ke liye so if you start measuring from there so so morini is at morini is at highest like uh, height yes abhishek they call you for otps they ask you to share otps because that is double security so the, now they need that step of otps also that's why government means That's why government always comes out with ads that never share your OTP. क्योंकि आपका बैंक अकाउंट पता लग सकता है प्रॉबेबली पासवर्ड ऑल्सो कैन बी यू नो हैक्ट बट इफ यू डू नॉट शेयर योर ओ टी पी क्योंकि ओ टी पी उसी टाइम जनरेट होता है एंड इट रीच इज योर मोबाइल फोन सो यू डोंट हैव टू शेयर योर ओ टी पीज दैट दैट इज वाई द गवर्नमेंट कीप्स मेकिंग यू अवेयर अबाउट ऑल दैट हाइएस्ट विलेज मीन्स सुकन्या अगेन सबसे ज्यादा हाइट पे लोकेटेड है इट इज लोकेटेड एट वेरी मच हाइट हाइएस्ट विलेज उससे ज्यादा ऊंचाई पर कोई विलेज नहीं है वॉट डू यू मीन वेन आई से दैट माउंट एवरेस्ट इज द हाइएस्ट माउंटेन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड दैट इज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑल्टीट्यूड फ्रॉम सी लेवल सी लेवल से आप मेजर करना शुरू कीजिए सो दैट दैट इज अ हाइएस्ट माउंटेन सिमिलरली फॉर हाइएस्ट विलेज एंड हाइएस्ट लेक की सबसे ज्यादा हाइट पर लोकेटेड है ओके सो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू टॉक अबाउट जॉम्बी आइस यस यूर वेलकम नाउ इफ यू नो अबाउट ग्लेशियर्स ग्लेशियर्स वॉट आर देर बेसिकली माउंटेन्स ऑफ आइस 
in a very layman language. So let's see if this is a glacier and this glacier has this part also and this base this uh, you just straight line and that is the base of glacier and these are the sides. So basically jab snow padti hai so it is highly likely now ye jo area hai this can be easily melted because yahan par snow kam hai density kam hogi this area can be easily melted and what happens when it melts down it creates glacier lakes or it turns itself into water on both sides. Next year again when snowfall is there then more snow accumulates here and then that uh, you know more snow is generated and glacier expand ho jata hai. Now zombie ice is something which they say that a part of glacier hai, glacier ka aisa part, a part of glacier which is you know which will melt down no matter what you do. We are trying to control climate change, we are trying to control global warming, we say that our glaciers are melting and glaciers have so much snow and so much, so much water can be made out of that snow that our sea levels will rise. If sea levels rise, for example, this is sea here and sea ki coast pe kaun se areas located hai? You have the entire coastline of India located near sea level starting from just, you know, this is not a very good map, but yeah. So India is a peninsular country. We are located near the sea. Agar jo idhar pani ka level hai, the level of water rises here at the coastline of India, then what will happen? Jo bhi aapki states, whatever states, union territories or cities are located near the sea, near the coastline, they will drown, they will get inundated. So it is not just the case for India, there are many countries which are located near sea which have a very huge coastline and if sea levels rise, water will go inland and these cities will drown. So if these cities drown then, then lesser land will be available for us to live on. So that's why melting of glaciers is a very big problem. Recently researchers have come out with this term called zombie ice. They say zombie ice is the ice which cannot be replenished. Even if more snow is put on that, it will not be replenished. It is for sure to be converted into water. Wo pani mein meltdown ho ke hi rahegi because its connection with the glacier has been lost. Even if more snowfall occurs here, this uh, zombie ice will not replenish. It will just keep on melting down and it will increase the sea levels. So let's see what is the news. What is zombie ice, how it threatens to raise global sea levels by over 10 inches. Now I want you to focus on this headline. They say the melting of the Greenland ice sheet will raise global sea levels by at least 10.6 inches. So measure it, what actually 10.6 inches is or 27 centimeters because of zombie ice. So this is a new term in geography, this is a new term in environment. If you ever come across such a term, then just mark on the right option. So we'll talk about this zombie or doomed ice is that is which is still attached to thicker areas, glacier ke saath abhi bhi attached hai, but it is no longer fed by those large glaciers. Uske upar aur snow nahi pad rahi. More snow is not getting accumulated on it. That's why it will melt. That's because the main glaciers receive less replenishing snow. snow. And why are glaciers receiving less snow on a nearly basis because of global warming. Meanwhile, doomed, uh, doomed ice is melting because of climate change. It is basically dead ice. Dead ice hai, so iska naam rakh hai, zombie ice. So it will just melt and disappear from the ice sheet and the, the ice has been consigned to the ocean regardless of what climate scenario we take now. Even if you try to bring down the global warming levels, agar aap aise efforts kar de agle paan saal mein, ki global warming bohat kam ho jai, still this level of sea rise, this cannot be stopped. Zombie ice will definitely melt because it is dead ice now. So this is some data that, uh, you know, eight of the 10 world's largest cities have a very big coastline near sea. Rehte hai wo. So these cities will inundate with time. Also, there is this global risk report that is released by World Economic Forum that they say that already an estimated 800 million people in more than 570 coastal cities are vulnerable to a sea level rise of 0.5 meters by 2050. And here we are talking about more than 10 inches. 
सो दिस इज द डेटा दैट यू कैन यूज इन योर सी इज द मेन आंसर राइटिंग या आप अपनी एक डेटा शीट मेंटेन कीजिए उसमें ये डेटा नोट डाउन करके रखिए लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक विच इज इंटरनेशनल वेल शार्क डे Yes, Shreyans, absolutely uh, right. Okay, thank you. I think uh, that particular you uh, that particular viewer has been blocked, so we can move on to the next topic. Are there any doubts? Please, Kannu uh, zombie ice is basically dead ice which will melt down for sure. वो water में convert हो जाएगी because global level uh, global warming levels are so high. The PDF for this lecture will be available on our Telegram channel, Raj IS, uh, Raj Malhotra IS Academy. You can find us on Telegram channel and PDF abhi aa jayegi thodi der mein, so you can read it out for yourself. It will be very clear. So there was this International Whale Shark Day that was celebrated on August thirtieth. Whale shark is one species of fish. एक type का fish है. Whale and shark, they are obviously different species, but whale shark together is one species, and this is the photograph of this whale shark. It can go to around eighteen meters long. So, for you know, normal human being is just two to three meters long, not more than that. So, if this uh, this is like eighteen meters long, and this is a separate species, and it is very important because first of all, it is threatened. Its का जो IUCN status है, that is endangered. आई यू सी एन रेड लिस्ट में एंडेंजर्ड में आता है सेकेंडली वाइल्ड लाइफ प्रोटेक्शन एक्ट स्केड्यूल वन स्केड्यूल वन गिव द हाइएस्ट अमाउंट ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन एंड वेयर इज इट फाउंड हैव यू हर्ड ऑफ वेल शार्क बिफोर सो वेल शार्क इज फाउंड अलॉन्ग द एंटायर कोस्ट लाइन ऑफ इंडिया सो वॉट एवर कोस्ट लाइन ऑफ इंडिया इज देयर इट इज फाउंड ह्योर सो वेल शार्क इज अबेंटली फाउंड अराउंड अराउंड द कोस्ट लाइन ऑफ इंडिया बट बिकॉज इट इज सो बिग इन साइज वेन एवर फिशरमैन गो हियर इन साइड द वॉटर्स फिशिंग के लिए जब भी फिशरमैन जाते हैं उनके नेट्स में वेल शार्क फंस जाते हैं सो द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ वेल शार्क इज डिक्लाइनिंग विद टाइम आई यू सी इन स्टेटस इज ऑलरेडी एंडेंजर्ड एंड बियॉन्ड दैट वॉट वॉट इज द स्टेटस दैट वी हैव क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड एंड एक्सटेंड सो दिस इज द स्टेट दैट वी नीड टू प्रोटेक्टेड राइट नाउ वी नीड टू प्रोटेक्टेड फर्स्ट की स्टोन स्पीशीज है इफ दिस स्पीशीज डाइज आउट अगर हमारे वॉटर्स में हमारी जो कोस्ट लाइन में ये प्रेजेंट है इफ द स्पीशीज डाइज आउट इट इज अ की स्टोन स्पीशीज ऑफ एक्वेटिक इको सिस्टम ऑफ इंडिया सो ऑल द स्पीशीज दैट इट फीड्स ऑन या जो भी स्पीशीज इसके ऊपर डिपेंडेंट है दे विल ऑल्सो डाई आउट इफ यू हैव कवर्ड एनवायरमेंट की स्टोन स्पीशीज आर दो विदाउट विच एन इको सिस्टम कैन नॉट सर्वाइव फॉर एग्जाम्पल टाइगर कैन बी एन इको और लायन कैन बी अ की स्टोन स्पीशीज ऑफ ग्रास लैंड टाइगर कैन बी ऑफ फॉरेस्ट एंड सिमिलरली फॉर एलिफेंट्स ऑल्सो सो मेनी की स्टोन स्पीशीज कैन बी देयर एंड दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट की स्टोन स्पीशीज ओके सो एंडेंजर्ड स्टैटस है सो दिस प्रोग्राम हैज बीन स्टार्टेड Wildlife Trust ट्रस्ट ऑफ इंडिया हैज लॉन्च अ कैंपेन टू सेंसिटाइज फिशरमैन अलॉन्ग साउथ वेस्ट कोस्ट अबाउट द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर स्पीशीज दे से दैट इफ फिशेज आर ट्रैप्ड इन योर नेट्स प्लीज टेक आउट टाइम टू रिलीज दैम उनको ऐसे ही छोड़ के मत आइए इवन इफ दे यू नो गेट ऑन टू योर शिप्स और बोट्स प्लीज कट योर नेट्स प्लीज गिव अप ऑन योर कमर्शियल एक्टिविटी फॉर सम टाइम एंड रिलीज दीज स्पीशीज सो दिस वाइल्ड लाइफ ट्रस्ट ऑफ इंडिया इट इज अ नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच इज बेस्ड इन डेली बहुत सारे प्रोजेक्ट्स कैरी आउट करते हैं स्पीशीज को प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए देर इज दिस दिस इज द स्नैप शॉट ऑफ वेबसाइट ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ ट्रस्ट ऑफ इंडिया देर इज दिस घड़ियाल कंजर्वेशन प्रोजेक्ट घड़ियाल रिकवरी प्रोजेक्ट देन देर इज दिस Kashmir Marco Recovery Project. A lot of them are uh, have been there. This is for protecting tigers. So non-profit hai. They work only on donations. They work on only on voluntary basis. So they have launched this project. They already were working working in Gujarat. The highest density of this whale shark species is a is in the Gujarat area. Gujarat ki jo coastline hai, wahan pe sabse zada milti hai. So already for the past twenty years, they have saved a lot of fish around. Gujarat coast. See, WTI has been running a project in Gujarat for the last twenty years, which has resulted in fisher folk 
releasing 852 whale sharks in Arabian Sea. So, in, tw uh, in like 20 years, around 1000 of uh, whale shark could be saved and something that is 18 meters long and 1000 number unka save kiya ja chuka hai. So, that is a huge number and this is a huge crisis for our coastlines because they regularly get stuck in these fishing nets. As you can see here, it is partially visible. So, now where they are launching it, they are launching it in Karnataka, Kerala and Lakshwadeep. Gujarat mein they were already working. Now, they are launching it along the southwest coast. Your southwest coast is this area and uh, going on to Lakshwadeep. Lakshwadeep tak jayenge and they will sensitize fishermen there. So, they, uh, this, uh, the campaign will be known as Save the uh, Whale Shark campaign. And since August 30, 2022 was the International Whale Shark Day, this uh, the theme of this year is important for the exam, the future of sharks, guardians of our seas. Again, if you are preparing for civil services, take note of this particular species. Very likely that it will be asked in the exam. You can ask the following. You can ask the following. You can ask conservation status. Pucha ja sakta hai. So, this is, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's something that we have already discussed. As you can see, you can compare the size of this whale shark from this picture. So, that's all for today. These were the only species and the only facts important from geography, environment and science and tech point of view. If there are any doubts, now I am open to taking doubts and let me know in the chat section. Yes, Abhishek, all the best and uh, yes, salty crocodiles also. Yes, Abhishek, for state civil services also, these facts are very important. Uh, Kannu, is the zombie ice part clear to you? Yes, thank you all of you. You can sign off if uh, you're done. Take care and I'll see you tomorrow with another discussion for international relations and culture. We'll be covering the weekly current affairs for IR and culture tomorrow. Again at 2.30 uh, p.m. live on Raj Malhotra IS and on Success Tree as well on a later time. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care and all the best.